I didn't stay home for long because I'd made a promise to Bubba, and I always try to keep my promise. So I went on down to Biola Battery to meet Bubba's family and make the introduction. Are you crazy? Or just plain stupid? Stupid is stupid does, Mrs. Blue. I guess. And of course, I paid my respect to Bubba himself. Hey, Bubba, it's me, Forrest Gump. I remember everything you said, and I got it all figured out. I'm taking the $24,562.47 that I got, well, that, that's left after well, a new haircut and a new suit, and I took Mom out to a real fancy dinner, and I bought a bus ticket and three Dr. Peppers. Tell me something. Are you stupid or something? Stupid is, stupid does, sir. Well, that's what's left after me saying. When I was in China on the All-America Ping Pong team, I just loved playing ping pong with my Flexo lights, Ping Pong Pat. Which everybody knows isn't true, but Mama said it's just a little white light, so it wasn't hurting nobody. So anyway, I'm putting all that on gas, ropes, and new nets, a brand new shrimping boat. Bubba told me everything he knew about shrimping, but you know what I found out? Shrimping is tough. I only caught five. A couple of boys, you could have yourself a cocktail. <laughs> hey, you ever think about naming this old boat? It's bad luck to have a boat without a name. I'd never named a boat before. But there was only one I could think of. The most beautiful name in the wide world. I thought about Jenny all the time. my sea legs. Well, you ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Dane. Yes, I know that. You wrote me a letter, you idiot. Well, well, Captain Forrest Gump. I had to see this for myself. <laughs> and I told you if you were ever a shrimp boat captain, that I'd be your first mate. Well, here I am. I am a man of my word. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, but don't you be thinking that I'm going to be calling you sir. No, sir. It's my boat.
find those shrimp, my boy! Ha -ha! That's where we'll find them. Still no shrimp, Lieutenant Dang. Okay, so I was wrong. Well, how are we gonna find them? Maybe you should just pray for shrimp. So I went to church every Sunday. Sometimes Lieutenant Dang came too, though I think he left the praying up to me. It's funny Lieutenant Dan said that, because right then, God showed up. Now me, I was scared, but Lieutenant Dan... He was mad. Come on! You call this a storm? Oh, you son of a bitch! No! Oh! It's time for a showdown! You and me! I'm right here! Tell me, get me! <laughs> you never take this phone! <laughs> Hurricane Carmen came through here yesterday, destroying nearly everything in its path. And as in other towns up and down the coast, BioLabatri's entire shrimping industry has fallen victim to Carmen and has been left in utter ruin. Speaking with local officials, this reporter has learned, in fact, only one shrimping boat actually survived the storm. Louise! Louise, that's forced. After that, shrimping was easy. <laughs> Since people still needed them shrimps for shrimp cocktails and barbecues and all, and we were the only boat left standing, Bubba got shrimps what they got. We got a whole bunch of boats, 12 jennies, big old warehouse. We even have hats that say Bubba Gump on them. Bubba Gump shrimp. It's a household name. Hold on there, boy. Are you telling me you're the owner of the Bubba Gump Shrimp Corporation? Yes, sir. We got more money than David Crockett. <laughs> Boy, I heard some whoppers in my time, but that tops them all. <laughs> we were sitting next to a millionaire. <laughs> well, I thought it was a very lovely story. And you tell it so well with such enthusiasm. Would you like to see what Lieutenant Dan looks like? Well, yes, I would. That's him right there. Hmm. And let me tell you something about Lieutenant Dan. Forrest. I never thanked you for saving my life. He never actually said so, but I think he made his peace with God. <laughs> 